Come forth, lest hesitation be your undoing. Um, I'm gonna guess this thing's got a lot of magic. Shimmer, luminary force. All right, what are you gonna do? Please tell me if this is magic, or are you just buffing yourself? Okay, good, Please. magic. It's down. An opening. This thing has got a lot Let's of health, go. doesn't it? Oh, I think green might still be set up for item drops. Shit. Roar. Uh, Helix strike. Leave it to me. Light! Hm. Got it. Sneaking mission. Start. Get those crits going. Leave it to me. Divine shield. My turn. Ready? Now! Yeah, if I can get two crits out of get this opening. before Luminary Force subsides... You know, and I should probably actually scan. That, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. I'm up. So what do we got? What do we got? Just a ton of health, basically. Technically, can be blinded and burned. I'm just gonna buff everyone's attack. It's my turn. Divine. Let's go. How are we doing on CP for her? Okay. Ready? It's down. All right, we can use Luminary Force Good again. Opening. Yes. We have a Platinum Shield up, so there's no need to use it yet. damage because we're in her aura? I think we are, but because we have Heavenly Force on, we're actually regening all the health that we're losing. Now. It's mine. My turn. Alright, I'll just re-up it then, considering how important it is. We still have shining, we all have regen, we all have platinum shield. Arcus activate. Take this. It's down. I mean, it's I really wish Fee would be the one countering. Yeah. Oh, is this as far as your power goes? Um Okay, sure. She's not using the burning aura anymore, so that's a that's nice. I'm just gonna re-up Heavenly Gift. That's all Lisa's gonna do. Very well. The thing is, I have to attack with her every now and then because Heavenly Gift. She doesn't regenerate CP the turn she uses Heavenly Gift, which is annoying. Also, did he never? No, he did cast Ixion Bolt. On your knees. Now! It's mine! I'm up! Roar! Oh, yes. Yeah, her... Let's go. Her break gauge is completely back. Shimmer! Hm. Got it. Sneak. Okay. Well, that's annoying. 
I did not mean to skip through a decent chunk of this. Hopefully Luminary Force blocks this. My wow, turn. that did a lot of damage. It's a good thing we a lot of us had an ultimate reflect up. It's my turn. Divide. I'm up. Yeah. Thank you. Leave it to me. Right, let me just re up this again. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's my turn. Roar! Uh, healing strike! Now! Let's go, everyone! I'm hopeful that this does a lot of breaks. Not nearly as much as I was hoping for, honestly. Alright. My turn. We all have a reflect and we all have insight, so there's no reason to We BP on Luminary Force. We. Is that like an upgraded evil eye? Take that. Very well. Divine. Sh My turn. Ah, uh, almost broke. Let's go. Through. All right, she's broken. Let's go. You know what that means. All right, let's do this. All right, that didn't do nearly let's as much go. damage as I was hoping. My mind is clear. My blade, My blade empty. empty. Now. now. That still did not do as much as I was hoping. Leave it to me. Now, nah, I'm going to want to keep a platinum shield up and Alo Saber is not going to kill her. On your knees. They're open. It's mine. My turn. Yes. What? Good well, it's a good thing he wasn't doing anything no, that thanks. required the all cancel Let's to go. not hit. Shiver. Hmm. Yeah. Don't take me lightly. Let's do it. There. Nice. Crit on the counter. I love it. We all have insight backup, right? Yep. There. Regenerate her CP. That's all that matters. Yeah. Regenerate his CP. Excellent. Hmm. Got it. Sneak. Well, that's her burning aura again. As long Leave as we have. Me. Heavenly aura or heavenly sh whatever it is, heavenly light up. We should be good. And I can't remember if we have a platinum shield up already, but here we go. Hmm. Got it. It's down. An opening. I'm up. Roar. It's down. Almost. It's mine. 6k health. There. Take this. 
There we go. Impressively done. I mean, that was pretty uh, epic, this but... This is the Blade of the Eight Leaves. Having a combination of Emma's Brave Order and Eustace's Platinum Shield, as well as Elise's Heavenly Gift, we were pretty much good. Pretty much the only way to stop this formation is to do enough burst damage on something that bypasses Platinum Shield. So probably the only thing I can think of that bypasses Platinum Shield was Rufus's S-Craft from uh, CS3. Nice, she finally has Albion Wolf. Took All her right. long enough. I did it. Uh -huh. well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you like that, huh? That was tough, but I think we did it. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be able to hold your ground so fiercely, children. Now I understand how Ragnar and <laughs> must have felt Whoa. after facing your kind. Uh, must be the other holy beast. Name forgotten to time. Ar... Argris? Huh? I know of the ancient dragon, but the other name... It sounds similar to that of the Steel Maiden's Divine Knight. It is a name that has passed from this world into oblivion. But back to the matter at hand. You have all passed the trial set before you. That's exactly what was happening to Reen's name. No one could actually say his name properly for a while. As for what comes next, you had best brace yourselves. I wonder if Vita knew that Roselia was a holy uh -huh. beast. The spectral moon mirror. It's... I'll guide us through. Everyone get ready. <sighs> What is this? The fragments of the past preserved in the Black Records. A reality even I have yet to see. Oh boy. Do not avert your eyes. This is the truth. I'm about to see something damning about Dreykels, aren't I? No, it's something from the far distant past, I think. Damn it. Why? How could the boss just leave us like this? He told us to take care of Fee. He must have been prepared for this. The boss dragged Balder the War God straight down to Gehenna with him. I'm sure he's happy about that. And yet... What a shame. It would seem I failed to make it in time. Hello back, Oliver. You. Ain't you that guy from the workshop? Why, yes. Oh, I do hope our S-weapons are serving you well. I have a certain proposal that you might find of interest. And as it so happens, everything we need to execute it can be found nearby. If all goes well, it may be possible to bring your boss back to life. Hmm. What was that? Now you're just talking crazy. Very well. I cannot fault your suspicion. Perhaps the Red Constellation would be interested in having their leader back instead. There is, after all, only room for one in this deal. Hmm. Congratulations on completing your trial. So, did he pull his soul back and force him to do the trial of the Awakener? Because he definitely was not an Awakener while he was alive. I trust you understand your situation. Rutger Klossel. Yeah, let me see if I got this straight. I get to pilot Zector, one of the fragments of the Great Power. Which means, somehow or another, I ended up being the chosen Seth. <laughs> but not by old Palatinate over there, per se. You set me up, didn't you? Oh, and what makes you say that? Don't play dumb. I know you've been giving weapons to both us and the Red Constellation. Wouldn't be any of my business ordinarily, but when I fought Balder, I realized something strange was going on. Did he set up that fight so they'd both die and he could resurrect one? We duped it out for three days and three nights straight. You guys gotta wonder how that's even possible. Hmm. <laughs> and on top of that, this big thing just happened to be sleeping right next to where we died. I can't even remember why we chose that place for our final showdown. 
but it's obvious to me now. You've been the one pulling the strings behind our backs this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, is Black Albrick a shit to me? Whoa. It belongs to me. Your soul. Your entire being. I'm wondering if Albrick is a direct, like, avatar for the curse. <laughs> you never do tire of this, do you? You are the embodiment of delusion. Repulsive, without a single shred of dignity, unlike Valimar. Compared to me, the Ashen Knight is nothing more than scrap metal. Accept it! You, with the heart of a lion, deserve better. You alone deserve to pilot me. Drykos? Uh, damn. The Argent One comes. So, is this whatever's inside the Ebon Knight trying to get him to abandon Valmar? It matters not. You shall never escape my grasp. No matter where you flee, your weary soul will never find refuge. I guess that's why he was never resurrected. Michaels, what was that just now? <laughs> It's been an age and a half, Leanne. You haven't changed at all from when I last saw you. No, if anything, you're more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Your flattery won't work on me. I assume you heard what became of me from Rose? Indeed. She told me of your revival and how you'd left Erebonia in secret. What a heartless woman you are. We promised to grow old together, yet you've left me here to grow old on my own. Even so, my thoughts have always been with you. You and Evelyn's children have grown up splendidly. Your bloodline will surely be blessed with many descendants. I regret that I could not have given you the same. Nevertheless, I am truly happy for you. Leanne. Now please, tell me. What was that earlier? That horrible darkness hanging over you. How long has it been haunting you? And why? Is that why she wanted to conclude the Great Twilight? Because of that? My name is Georg. I never had a surname. Ooh. But the chief told me to pick one, so I took out the G from Gnome and went with that. The idea of having GG as my initial sounded silly to me. Repetitive. That's really all there is to it. Why am I getting a flashback of George? Did I miss a shrine? When I left the workshop, my real memories were replaced with fake ones. Not that it was so bad. It was as if I'd become a character in a story. I played my role, going to school, making friends, unaware that I'd been regularly reporting back to the workshop the entire time. Almost like what happened with Joshua and the Faceless, the way he was unaware that he was reporting to Ouroboros about Cassius. They'd used the Faceless's hypnosis techniques on me, having stolen them from Ouroboros. Well, that explains it. But honestly, it wasn't that bad, considering it was just a dream. It was a dream for you, but a reality for everyone else. Dick. Reviving Crow was simply a matter of efficiency. Nothing more. The Chief gave me an earful for it, but I knew Crow would be a suitable candidate for the rivalries. That's the only reason I did what I did. It's the same reason I didn't kill Angie. And the same reason I gave the Courageous a chance. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Somewhere in the back of your mind, you want that dream to be reality. Uh-oh, is this Osborne? No, no, there's a good boy. He has a gentle look to him, just like you. We should be glad he hasn't taken after me. I like Osborne's new voice actor, but it's the same thing with Laura. I'm so used to his previous one. <laughs> Though I suppose if he had my rugged features, he'd have no end of admirers. <laughs> I'm sure. Besides, you resemble your father too, don't you? 
Though I might start to worry if you turn out half as oblivious as him. Hmm? How do you mean? <laughs> you see? But in a way, that's just what I love about your father. Take care, dear. Best of luck with tomorrow's mission. I'll be off, then. I love you, Kasha. And you as well, Reen. It's been 180 years since his passing, and only 30 since his soul found its way back to this world. A wonderful wife and a healthy child. It seems there's no need for me to be concerned. Really? So, based on what I just heard, it seems like Dreykel's soul is inside Osborne? But I fear the darkness still hangs over him. Perhaps it's time I reconsider that invitation. And that's why she joined Ouroboros? What? Again? Honestly, you and your research projects. Well, whatever it's about this time, I'm sure you'll make it a success. Like always. Just try and make it back for the weekend, all right? My father would love to spend some time with you. As would Elisa. I'll see what I can do. I love you, Arena. Oh boy. What in Adios' name am I doing? Spending my days designing weapons instead of spending time with my wife and daughter? Oh, this is gonna hurt Elisa. Not that these recent headaches are helping, or these sudden drowsy spells. They couldn't find anything wrong with me at the clinic, though. The Panzer Soldat. With any luck, it'll revolutionize the industry as we know it. But will it be good enough for the professor to approve as my final thesis? Wait, my final thesis? Where did that thought even come from? It's almost as though... Um... Am I trying to leave this place? Yes, you are. Open your eyes, Franz Lumen. I have already claimed the king. All that remains is his steward. Accept your fate. <laughs> Mr. Franz Reinfurt? Pardon my intrusion. I am one of the enforcers of Ouroboros, number nine, the Severing Eclipse. I've come to retrieve the research reports, as per your agreement with Professor Novartis. <sighs> you are Mr. Reinfurt, correct? An affiliate of the Thirteen Factories? Though that is indeed my name, it is not who I truly am. So whatever is messing with... Dreykel's soul is messing with Franz as well. <sighs> Franz Reinfurt was nothing more than a temporary alias. It is nothing compared to my true self. A name passed down for centuries from one servant of the Great One to another. I... I beg your pardon. I suppose I should cast my alias aside now. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. I regret to inform you that I will not be relinquishing my research. Try and obtain it by force if you like, but be warned, it won't end well for you. Is it just you. me or does she look scared in that portrait? Looking back, I've experienced more than my fair share of misfortune. My parents were wealthy landowners in the north, but an avalanche claimed them while I was still young. By some stroke of fate, I was taken in by the Baron of Ymir and sent to Thor's military academy. As the years went by, my career progressed well, granting me many close friends along the way. And then, well into my thirties, I met her, the woman who would become my wife. Oh, I experienced my fair share of teasing, but in spite of that, our union was blessed. It was around that time, however, 
that I started hearing the voice. Relinquish it to me. I wonder if this is the same voice that Ash heard telling him to kill the vile one. It belongs to me. Your soul. Your entire being. So is Osborne a reincarnation of Emperor Dreykel's? Yes. yes. Unable to seek anyone's counsel, I tried to seal it deep within my heart. By the time we'd married and our son was born, the voice had faded into only the faintest of thoughts. But no sooner could I breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, he gives his heart to his son to keep him alive, and in return, the voice in his head keeps him alive. Had it returned at the very worst point of my wretched life. When he begged for Adios or anyone, demon or otherwise. Queen of Goddess, you're okay. Please kill him. I beg of you. Save our child. No! Why? Damn you, Arundel! What did Kasha and my son ever do to you? I'm your enemy! I'm the one you want! Arundel? Hadios, please! Someone answer me! God is a fiend! I don't care! I'll do anything. Take me instead if you must! Just please! Spare our son's life! And that's when I'm believing the Great One. Oh, how long I've waited to hear yep. those words. Waited and waited, Dreykels, for two hundred long years. This time, you will be my Awakener. Not the Ashen Knights. Agree, and I will deliver your son from death. It was you. You're the one who did this. All of it. But I don't care anymore. Take my body. Take my soul. Do what you will. So long as you save my son. It doesn't matter what happens to me! Ebonite! Ishmelga! But I thought each knight was a piece of the curse. That seems like it's the entire curse. <sighs> there it is, then. The whole truth. So the duel the boss died in was rigged from the start. By Black Alberic. By... Even he was just a puppet. George, too. Though his circumstances were a bit different. Yeah. And what was that thing possessing Elisa's dad, anyway? It looked like he was taken over by another persona. The chief of the gnomes. Persona confirmed. Persona! Okay. <clears throat> the being that possessed him has achieved immortality through means different from mine. I suspect it lives on by becoming one with any descendant of the gnomes it deems worthy. Almost akin to a parasite of sorts. Father. We also learned the truth about Arian Road, or Leanne Sandlot as she was once known. She spent 250 years watching over the Empire, as well as the man she loved most. A saint in the truest sense of the word. But... but... That means the guy she spent all that time watching over is... I admit, I always did have my suspicions. Then why didn't you say anything, Eustace? God damn it! Why, for instance, did Emperor Eugent go to such lengths to support the Chancellor? You're right. It all makes sense now. His Majesty had the entire truth in his hands this whole time. The Black Records. He knew that the Lionheart Emperor, founder of Thor's, father of the Renaissance, and victor in the War of the Lions 250 years back, had been reborn as Giliath Osborne, the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Damn. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, 
I mean, that would explain why Leanne is going with his plan, because technically the man she loves is still buried in there. I never imagined reincarnation would be possible. Paranormal bullcrap. Except it's for real this time, <laughs> isn't it? Of all the things for the visions to show us. Those witless fools! Why didn't Leanne and Dreykels come to me? Did you not say we were friends? Was it all just a lie? No. I am the one at fault. How could I have been so blind for centuries? Grandmother. Rose. <laughs> Roselia, what can you tell us about this Ishmelga? The Ebon Knight. All signs point to him being the one behind all this, don't they? It radiates an aura unlike any other Divine Knight we've encountered. I do not know. This particular Divine Knight has remained mostly hidden for over a thousand years. It was absent for both the War of the Lions 250 years ago, and the Dark Dragon's appearance 900 years ago. Mm. However, it may have been the one behind them. Or perhaps, the one behind every tragic event in Erebonia's dark history. So you're saying Ishmelga is the curse? Ishmelga is the will of the Great One? Would be my guess at how they're going to phrase this. No way. <clears throat> Valimar, Ordeen, and all the other Divine Knights we've seen thus far have each had their own conscious mind. But what if that mind were to become warped by malice, amassing it as a kind of power? The Gnomes and the Hexen clan have been at odds from the very start. Even still, we managed to reach a compromise 1,200 years ago. We stood side by side as we sealed off the Great One. We worked arm in arm to help found the Empire. But 800 years ago, after the reclamation of the capital, the Gnomes suddenly broke off all contact with us. And the one behind all of that was the Ebon Knight. It must have taken over the Gnomes and made them into its followers. Well, that's the nice way of putting it, I guess. In reality, they're nothing more than its brainwashed minions. And so they got involved with all sorts of shady stuff, including the boss's death, moving their evil plans forward the whole time. Yeah, mm -hmm. even now, that's the curse that Albrecht was talking about. But what's its end goal? Bringing back the Great One? Or is it trying to win the rivalry of the Seven to become the Great One itself? Is huh. that what the Ozi units were created for? What I was created for? What Milliam gave her life for? <laughs> Just the thought of it makes me sick. We can't let this stand. Oh boy. Uh, Brain? That thing is the reason for all this suffering. Not only in Erebonia, but in every country surrounding it. Crow, the Lance Maiden. And the Jaeger King were all made into immortals and forced into its game. It took Milliam's life and the lives of so many others. Major Lecter's father, Major Claire's family, and others still. Innocent people, all made into its victims. This isn't good. Elisa's father, George, my mother. Even Chancellor Osborne himself! Rain, keep it together! At this rate, the curse will take hold of you. <laughs> it seems the truth was too much for him to handle. Damn it! You gotta get it under control. Calm yourself, my awakening. Wait, what? Hi! Elmar? When did you get your vocal processors back? What is this? It feels so soothing. 